da 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 Woke up all in two to light this morning but I think I'll be okay. okay. Get your pens and papers because class is in session. Project Her Day 1 officially begins today. If you're new here, hello. My name is Desiree. I'm a women's online fitness coach and I specialize in mind and body transformation. Each part of this mini series is going to touch on a different topic to help you step into the hottest, healthiest, and happiest version of you this 2024 once and for all. And today we are touching on the diet side of things. Now, before I have anyone try and come for me in the comments, I want you to watch this video entirely first and then say your piece because I know what some of you guys are thinking right now. Oh my God, this girl's about to tell us this diet that she thinks we should follow. No, no, no. Just sit back, relax, grab your favorite drink, grab a pen, a paper, a little snack, and let's jump into it. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to jump into the mistakes that people often do when they are starting any kind of new journey. If you're focused on becoming a healthier version of you, then this is something that you want to watch out for. You wanna make sure that the approach you're taking is one that works for you and your lifestyle. Also one that works for your dietary preferences. Doesn't make sense for you to go and follow keto if you love eating carbs every day, especially if you don't need to be doing something like keto. For example, if you love carbs like me, I love carbs, okay? I love a pasta, I love a nice piece of bread with a little bit of butter on it. I could not go keto. Even if I wanted to, there is no way in hell I could ever be keto. So it doesn't make sense for me to try and take on a keto diet, especially if my dietary preferences don't require it. People will always try and look for like the next best thing. They'll try keto, they'll try fasting, they'll try crazy fad diets that are making claims that they're gonna help them lose 20 pounds within two weeks. But a lot of the times those diets are super restrictive and honestly unnecessary. When it comes to any goal that you're wanting to achieve, weight loss, building muscle, or just like wanting to feel healthier, happier in your body, and just overall making healthier choices with your diet, it does not need to be so complicated. It does not need to include so many rules and be so strict. And I really wanna to touch on this too because this is super important if you're someone who is trying to make this a lifestyle. If you are just trying to live a healthier, happier life, you do not need to be so tough and hard on yourself and tell yourself that you're not allowed to eat sugar or not allowed to eat pizza for three months because during that three months, you're gonna be trying to lose weight or you're trying to make healthier habits. Because let me tell you what, once those three months end, you introduce that pizza back into your diet, you introduce carbs back into your diet, you're finished the diet, that weight is gonna come right back or you're gonna gain even more weight. We wanna focus on a long-term sustainable approach. So this is a rule of thumb that we give with all of our clients. What I like to say is if you could not keep up the nutritional habits that you have, the food rules that you have for the remainder of your life, it is not the right approach for you. Now, that being said, this is not me saying that this means you need to eat in a deficit or you should be able to eat in a deficit for the rest of your life. It is the food rules that you're following within that deficit is what I'm talking about. So for example, if you're in a calorie deficit, but you're in that calorie deficit because you're restricting a major food group from your diet, it's probably not gonna be a long-term sustainable approach. It does not have to be complicated, girl. Stick to whole foods, prioritize your protein intake, match your diet to whatever dietary needs or preferences you may have, and go from there. You are allowed to enjoy yourself on this journey. It does not have to be miserable. It does not have to be this super crazy strict thing. You should just be able to enjoy the food that you're eating. And you can still become a hot ass version of yourself and enjoy the diet it takes to get there. So I'm gonna kind of break down what we do with our clients to help you guys get some inspo. Something we do with our clients is we have them track macros. Does everybody need to track in order to see great results? No, not at all, that's not what I'm saying. If you have a history of getting really obsessed with macros, then maybe this approach isn't gonna be right for you. You might wanna to switch to something more like intuitive eating. That being said, a lot of people just don't have that foundation of knowledge when it comes to the foods that they're eating. They don't really have the knowledge of how much protein is in certain foods, how much carbs are in certain foods, how much fat is in certain foods. And this is where macro tracking can be super beneficial for that. Also, doing macro tracking can also be a lot more beneficial when you're working towards a specific goal. So what I like to say with our clients is you don't have to track forever. You don't have to track for the rest of your life. That being said, when you're working towards goals like weight loss, if you're wanting to build more muscle on your physique, then tracking your macros can make it a lot more of an efficient process. Once you reach that end goal and you are ready to maintain it and you have been maintaining it for some time, it's a lot easier to not have to track because you're gonna have a better understanding of how much food you need to eat on a daily basis to maintain that current physique that you have. 
but not everyone has that foundation of knowledge so that's why intuitive eating can be really difficult for some people and honestly if you are a beginner getting into the health and fitness space and you're sticking to something like intuitive eating a lot of the times it sets people up for failure because they don't have that foundation of knowledge they're unfamiliar with portion sizes they're unfamiliar with how much a certain amount of protein actually looks like maybe they don't even know what macros are so doing macro tracking is beneficial not only just to help you get to your end result but also just help you gain a further understanding of nutrition but it's also just a great way to help you further your own knowledge surrounding nutrition and to get a better understanding of how your body responds to different variables tracking is not the end-all be-all it is just a tool and it can be super beneficial to you on this journey but in addition to that the food rules that you are following whether you're eating at maintenance and wanting to just maintain the current physique you have and you're wanting to make healthier choices or you're wanting to build muscle or you're wanting to lose weight you want to make sure that the approach you're taking is going to make sense for you, your lifestyle, and your dietary preferences. The approach that you take should be realistic and also sustainable. There is no need to overcomplicate it. If you have any questions on any of the things I just mentioned, I want you to drop a comment down below in the comment box. The next video in this series comes out on December 19th, and we are going to be diving all into the workout plan you're gonna follow. So if you don't wanna miss that, make sure to hit subscribe, and I'll see you back here December 19th.